All right, we're going over slides 65 to 82 today. Uh, once we get through the slides, I'll go ahead and open up tomorrow's assignment. Uh, that way you can go ahead and get started on it if you want to get a jump start on it before tomorrow. All right, comparing plants and animals. Cell wall, chloroplast, and large vacuole. These are things that are in plant cells only. There are small vacuoles in animal cells, but not plant cells. Or, but only small vacuoles in animal cells, but there are large vacuoles only in plant cells. Uh, animal cells have structures that plants do not. This includes a cytoskeleton, probably one that we have not talked about. Um, it was not one of the organelles that we discussed last year. This is a system of protein tubes that give the cell structure and shape. Animal cells also have lysosomes, which we did talk about last year, to digest and get rid of waste materials. Plants carry out this function through special vacuoles. Um, plant cell structure, large central vacuole. The large central vacuole, it actually stores the water. It, it's what keeps the plant growing upright, standing upright, and not drooping <coughs> over. When plants get wilty or start to droop over, that's because there's not enough water in their large vacuole. Uh, the large vacuole <coughs> excuse me, stores water to help maintain water pressure inside plant cells so the plant can stand erect. <coughs> Excuse me. Animal cells and protists have smaller vacuoles, but not the same size. Plant cell structure, cell wall. The cell wall protects and supports plant cells. Here is your, if there's a primary cell wall, a gluey pectin layer, and then a secondary cell wall. So it's a, a pretty thick, rigid outer covering of all the plant cells. Whoops, I skipped one. Uh, plants do not have a bony skeleton like we do, of course. So then how do trees and flowers are able to stand without falling over? How does that work? What do you think? The roots. Maybe the roots help stabilize it. Okay, what else? The central Maybe the, all the central vacuoles. Okay. Animal cells don't have cell walls, but plant cells do. Cell walls, cell walls are more rigid than flexible cell membrane. When the plant central vacuoles are filled with water, they exert pressure on the cell wall and the plant stands up straight. If a plant is dehydrated, it will wilt and fall over. Uh, chloroplasts. Chloroplasts obtain their energy directly from the sun and use it to make glucose or food for the plant. Uh, animal cell structures uh, have, er, try that again. Animal cells have structure plant cells don't have, such as lysosomes. Lysosomes are filled with enzymes that break down and recycle materials. In plant cells, recycling is carried out uh, in the large central vacuole. Cytoskeleton. Animal cells also have a cytoskeleton made of tubes of protein, giving them internal structure and shape. The dynamic cytoskeleton allows animal cells to change shape and crawl on surfaces, something plants can't do. Well, let's see if it'll work. <laughs> Sweet music to go along with it. <laughs> A crawling cell, I don't know. It's a jellyfish. <laughs> it looks like one right now. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit here. Okay. How many seconds was that Like 29. I woke up listening to jazz music. <laughs> it's like well, TV. There you go. I can't stand jazz. I gotta go through all of them again. I don't, that's the one thing about this thing I don't like. You don't think when you No. I'm not sure how to fix that to where it does. 
confused. There we go. Uh, what is the function of a chloroplast? It carries out photosynthesis. The cells are rigid and strong due to them. It senses sounds. It makes protein. Anybody? Mm -hmm. Gotta be A. Uh, a cytoskeleton makes proteins from amino acids, carries out photosynthesis for plant cells, since it sounds, gives an animal cell structure and shape. B. Say it again. B. Carries out photosynthesis. D. D. D sounds right to me, and that is correct. Uh, what is true about vacuoles? Only plants have them. Vacuoles and plants are large, but they're small in animals. Vacuoles maintain pressure in plant cells to keep the plant standing up. Both C. B and C are correct. B and C. Both B and C are correct. So D would be the correct answer. Well, good. The cell structure that contains enzymes and breaks apart waste molecules in animal cells is called lysosome, vacuole, nucleus, endoplasmic reticulum. A. A sounds good to me. And that's correct. Only animal cells have mitochondria and only plant cells have chloroplasts. True or false? True. They were trying to make that one kind of tricky, but you guys got it. Very good. Uh, when a flower blooms, it is because the central valve, hold on, it is because the central vacuoles in the petals are fill, full with water. True. Oh, we're, we're torn on this one. It is true. Which of the following structures is found in animal cells but not plant? Mitochondria, cytoskeleton, chloroplast, ribosomes. B. We're all over the place. Which one? I chose B. You chose B? And I am going to agree with B. Uh, which of the following is common to both animal cells and plant cells? Large central vacuole, cytoskeleton, chloroplast, plasma membrane. Chloroplast. John, you got some green cells floating around your body? Nope. You don't make your own food, do you? No. You don't make your own food, do you? No. No. So it can be chloroplast. Which one of these is found in plants and animals? No. Thank you, John. Second try, you got it. It is D. Plasma membrane is found in both. it first. Oh, is he said first? Okay, good call. Which of the following organelles contain or contains DNA? Nucleus, lysosome, mitochondria, A and C are correct. A and C. A and C are D. A and C are correct. Nucleus and mitochondria. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Well, that was fast. Okay. I got it right. Well, what's our hope? I'm going to open.